Innovative Farmers is a way of matching farmers and researchers together. It provides funding and it provides coordination. So it really has this ability to give you answers that are practical to the farmer, but also give you some really strong science. We're becoming more and more aware of the problems with antibiotic resistance and within dairy farming, mastitis is the biggest user of antibiotics. It is well known now that um, mild and moderate cases of mastitis, those which are caused by so-called gram-negative mastitis, have a very high spontaneous cure rate, so antibiotics in these don't make a big difference. So if farmers can use a test which quickly identifies whether a case of mastitis benefits from antibiotics or not, they can actually reduce antibiotics significantly on farm. The on-farm testing, we take the sample from the cow and we grow it in the incubator for 14 hours and then that determines is it a gram negative or gram positive mastitis. Before we used any of the testing, we would blanket any mastitis cow we found uh, with antibiotics even before we knew what type of mastitis it was. In this field lab it's been really important to bring the vets on board with the farmers. It's enabled the vets to support the farmers in feeling confident interpreting the test so that they feel really happy about making the right choices for their cows. If she doesn't need antibiotics and the cow can self-cure, you have to dump her milk for a lot less time so her milk can go back in the bulk tank, which is more litres to be sold, less cows to treat and more time to focus on the other cows. At the field labs, we all come together and we talk about what they're doing differently in their cows. It's quite good sharing ideas with other farmers, see what they're doing, especially for a younger generation, try and get them involved more. We on this farm do a lot of research and we find it very useful because we get to see the results ourselves so we know what we're dealing with. Farmers want to reduce antibiotics and being in a knowledge exchange with researchers, it does empower farmers to make uh, evidence-based decisions. It makes us think basically, does every case need antibiotics and that encourages farmers to explore new areas as well.